hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl fanny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is fanny lungu and if you're new welcome if you're returning welcome back and hope you guys are doing all right you can find us on facebook and instagram as fanny and jesse just head there say hi to us become friends um suggest stuff there and We'll be more than glad to respond you can check out my blog morning coffee with funny and enjoy the content that i put out you can check out our second youtube channel funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy our weekly vlogs monthly vlogs uh, and yeah suggest what you want to see there otherwise uh today i'm going to be reacting to steve harvey reveals truth of islam um I think I've reacted to a couple of videos where celebrities actually talk about Islam. What does that mean to you guys? Does it mean anything? It's just one of those, uh, so what? Or, oh, oh, that's interesting. Otherwise, I myself find it very, very interesting. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. What's the biggest lie you have ever heard or you have believed without even objecting or you have convinced yourself even though you know that it's not certainly true you probably are thinking about a file of things well i think one of the biggest lie ever this generation or the earlier generation had been taught is men and women can be friends without having any additional intentions well I'm not here to tell you what's haram and what's not. That's not my area to talk about. But we generally can discuss and benefit from this. Now, all the college men and women and even teenagers out there think like, Islam is so hard man, all rules, everything is haram man, I can't enjoy my life. Well, I understand these ideas and thoughts because I do have lived that type of life. Wallahi, Islam is the logical and beneficial and the best thing that has ever happened to me or even you or anybody. Ask those people who revert or who start practicing in unpracticing environment. So brothers and sisters, can men and women be only friends? I want to present a very logical non-Muslim perspective. Watch this clip first. All of my friends are men. I don't have female friends. I don't. I'm, I'm incapable of that. Why? What do you mean? Well, because you know, come on. Because you have a wife. Well, I have a wife, and I don't, I don't really have female friends because, look, okay, let's get rid of this. <laughs> I want right to know here. why. Okay, I'm gonna tell you this. Let's get rid of this right here. There, you, you're an attractive woman. There are some guys somewhere saying, yeah, I'm, we're friends. No, that's not true. He's your friend only because you have made it absolutely clear that nothing else is happening except this friendship we have. We remain your friends in hopes that one day there'll be a crack in the door, a chink in the armor, and trust and believe that guy that you think is just your buddy, he will slide in that crack <laughs> the moment he gets the opportunity. Because we're most guys. And you think this way? 99.9% uh, .9 of us think that way. And you tell this to a woman and it just blows her back. No, I have male friends. You have male friends because they know it can be nothing else right now. I tell you what, all your male friends, just ask them in a friendly way. If, if I wanted to date you, would you be okay with that? And watch, watch the fireworks. <laughs> watch. <laughs> Masha Allah, some real truth has been spilled. Are the sisters shocked? or brothers convinced? You can let me know in the comment section. We read all of them. Steve Harvey, most of you might be familiar, he's an American television host, actor, writer, producer and comedian. He hosts the Steve Harvey Morning Show and many others. I don't really watch these but few of his clips are motivational, aren't they? He told the truth in the English language. Did you get that? Well, one thing I want to say is, maybe your intentions are good. But you can never know what the other person is thinking behind his mind. You can't read other guys mind, can you? Probably we all can wish to read others mind to only know what a human mind is capable of. Honestly, think about are you genuinely being friends with someone? 
Please don't waste your time on such things which are nothing but heartache and headache. It's shocking. Steve Harvey don't have female friends and he even told the reason. He's talking about the fitra of a human nature. Islam segregates gender for a reason so you are protected and not misused. Islam prohibits friendship with opposite gender. It's for a reason. But movies promote this nonsense like crazy. They just want to make money out of it and they change your view because mind believes what it sees. So brothers and sisters, please be careful about things you are watching. So how do you deal with it? Learn to have respectful, decent conversation with opposite gender if necessary. Dua is ibadah. Take out some time in seclusion with Allah and tell him what's bothering you. Ask Allah for halal and ask Allah to make you overcome your desires and problems. So brothers and sisters, can men and women be only friends? Just being honest? No. This is the lie we are fed and we ended up believing to a certain extent. Brothers and sisters, I hope we are able to present this topic without disappointing you. That's it for today. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Love this video as well. I wish I could react to this, but um, with people around just to get different opinions. And it's very true. Very, very true. I, I mean, this is true to me. It doesn't have to be true to you because I really don't get it. I just don't get it. If you have ill intentions of saying, I want to be friends with these boys, only maybe to benefit in some sort of way then mm, why not just stay away what good comes from certain things there's actually someone there watching this watching the original video saying um no it's possible it's possible this it's possible that i i don't know i just don't know at this age maybe yes when i was younger i'd say yeah because in school you need help with something maybe you can go to this male friend that you know and are comfortable with to assist you or this this that but then as you grow older i i don't, I don't know it just doesn't make sense like how are you comfortable chilling with men or how are you comfortable chilling with we um women yes if it's work i understand but then in your free time no if it's cool i still understand but in your free time then what there's some men out there that say or females out there that say i like keeping female friends because of this and that i like keeping male friends because of this and that and then what that's why I feel like people create traps for, the, for themselves. For example, I'm having uh, problems in my relationship, but all my friends are male. So what happens? I find a shoulder to lean on leads to cheating. That breaks up my relationship. Same thing goes for the guys. What are you trying to do? How do you even walk away from such a situation? And there's some people that don't walk away. That's what I'm saying. You just trapping yourself by doing certain things and there's some i've actually seen this why men say you know what i'm a man i can control myself i can go out there befriend females but you as a female are quite vulnerable so you don't have to have male friends so you can go out with your female friends but a woman can't go out with her male friends because you are a man it doesn't make sense just stop 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 respect yourself enough to recognize that this is not needed this is a distraction this won't uh, end well of course the people with genuine um genuine intentions but when you're getting attention from this other party the opposite party there is bound to be a spark of distraction not today not tomorrow it can be 10 years from now it can be a week from now can be months from now i don't know i really really don't know otherwise i agree with islam if islam says this is bad and it's explained it in this way i'm down with this because because it makes a lot of sense and if you don't want to believe islam but at least you can at least listen to steve harvey 
if that's your um type of people you want to listen to you know because they he, this is a man that's actually a billionaire millionaire out there and he's saying such things if you can't listen to advice then i don't know otherwise protect yourself protect your energy be around people that protect you too if you know there's going to be temptations temptations don't go there otherwise um for this this is a lie i don't think men and women can be friends i don't think so at all and there's more examples that i would give but i would love to hear back from you guys um let me know what you think do you actually think you can handle a relationship with the opposite sex or do you think it's a trap like i said make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video